In this session, we are going to study the cantilever beam with point load. We have a cantilever beam. As we already read about the beams, so one of the beam is cantilever beam and it is having a point load. And we want to draw, we want to draw the shear force bending moment diagram for this, right? Aim, what is aim? What is aim? To draw shear force, we will write SF for shear force and bending moment, BM for bending moment diagram for this, right? So we have cantilever beam like this. It is fixed at one of the end, other end is free and suppose the point load is at this free end and it has length L, right? And we want to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam for entire length, for the entire length, right? So what will be the shear force and bending moment diagram for this, right? Now, first of all, we are talking about shear force diagram. As we discussed previously that we will take a cross section X. In this case, let us take at any, uh, it may be taken at left or right of the section, right? So we are taking a cross section X from this axis, from this end, right? From this end, we are taking a cross section at a distance of x, right? Suppose this is capital X and at a distance x, we have taken this cross section. And find out the shear force on this x, shear force on x, x, right? And based on that, we will be able to draw the shear force diagram, right? And as there is no force in between, the equation will be valid for the entire beam. The equation will be valid for entire beam because there is no other load is there on any part of the beam other than this, right? Or we have included this using this cross section X. So what will be Fx? What will be Fx? So what is shear force? Uh, it is the sum of all the vertical forces, algebraic sum of the all the vertical forces to the right or left of the section. We are taking to the right of the section because we have taken cross section from this axis, from free, free end, right? We have taken this, right? And remember the sign conventions. What sign conventions we were using? That for shear force, for shear force, this was positive. This was positive and this was negative. You have to remember that for shear force, this sign convention we are using, right? This is for shear force. Is it okay? That if the cross section, if the force is to the right, because we are taking on right side, right? Right side of this section. On right side, if it is downward, the force is downward, it is positive. Force is upward, it is negative. So this W is downward, right? So it will be positive. So we will write Fx will be equal to algebraic sum of all the forces to the right of the section. And there is only one force. There is only one force and this is positive according to sign convention. So this will be W. That's it. So shear force at section X will be W. And this is constant. There is no X term with this. So this is constant throughout the section. So it is positive one thing. Second thing this is constant and it will be remain constant throughout the section because there is no other load acting on this cantilever beam other than this, right? So if we if we define at A point and B point, what will be the force? Same force will be there. So at FB, because it is constant, it will be W. At FA, again it is W, right? And intermediate points, this will be remain the same W, right? So uh, we will draw the shear force diagram for this, like this. suppose this is our base, and the shear force is W at B, W at A and throughout it is uniform, throughout constant. So it will remain W throughout the section. So this is our shear force diagram.
this is our shear force diagram for this beam right and it is positive i am writing here plus and what is intensity of this this is w i am writing here w so this is the shear force diagram i am writing here sfd so this is a shear force diagram at this base at this base it is positive upward right positive and what is the value w so this is the simplest case right where there is shear force diagram is the weight of the body weight of the applied load right now what is bending moment diagram for this bending moment diagram we have to take what is bending moment algebraic algebraic sum of all the uh, moments of all the forces to the left or right of the section so we have to take the moment of this w because it is only force to the right of this section so what is the moment of this and that's based on that equation we will find out the bending moment diagram right and what is sign convention for that sign convention this sign convention is is for shear force diagram for bending moment diagram the sign conventions are that for sagging bending moment we are taking positive like this this is positive and for hogging bending moment this is negative like this right for sagging bending moment it is positive and for hogging it is negative right so this force is at the right of the section this is clockwise right of section this is clockwise means it is hogging bending moment right it will be negative so what will be the moment at point x will be equal to force multiplied by the distance w multiplied by x so that is negative because according to this it is negative right so minus w x so it is varying it is linearly varying right you can see here there is a term x so when that x is 0 this will be 0 and x is l this will be wl right so at a point at a point or at b point suppose we are taking first b point at b point will it will be 0 because x is 0 at b point and at a point the moment is minus wl because at a, at a point x is l right so x will be l at a point so from 0 to wl it is varying linearly right and it is in negative direction right so suppose this is our base so we are taking bending moment on this line this is our baseline right and we want to find out bending moment it is 0 at b point it is 0 here 0 here this is our b point and uh, this was a this is b here this is a this is b right so it is 0 at this point wl wl in negative direction suppose this is this quantity is wl on the scale on scale this is wl and the variation is linear linear variation from 0 to wl it is varying linearly so this is the diagram right this is the diagram right and it is this was positive this is negative so this is our bending moment diagram so by using bending moment diagram and shear force diagram we can find out the shear forces and bending moment at any cross section of the beam right so this is the simplest case of cantilever beam with point load at free end